There are mysteries ahead, so be aware and cautious. Spoilers alert, a newlywed couple has recently relocated to the new apartment. Rob, the spouse, takes boxes off their things inside the house, while Gail, the wife, arranges the kitchen. Gail is concerned about the homeowner's decision to keep an outdated refrigerator in the flat. They are unable to remove it, yet it is unsightly in the kitchenette. Rob attempts to remain upbeat, telling her that older refrigerators contain devices that newer refrigerators don't, like because of the huge engine on top. Gail mocks her husband's geekiness by jokingly stating that it's ridiculous. She recommends they sip a little champagne after moving all the packages. Rob checks to see whether the ancient refrigerator has any ice. He was taken aback. He notices ice chunks topping the freezer. He takes a cube and drops it into his beverage. They take a seat and raise a glass to the new home. Rob discovers a peculiar pattern in the ice after taking a sip. Rob doesn't seem to trust his eyes when he understands what it is. He delivers the cube to Gail and asks her to check that it contains something. She takes out a magnifying lens and examines it, revealing a small mammal trapped within the cube. Both are perplexed and astonished. They recognize that the little animal was being pursued due to the presence of spears in its side. Gail returns to the refrigerator, puzzled, and melts a bit of ice, revealing a miniature functional medieval civilization. The time inside the freezer appears to be moving more quickly as the individuals go about their daily routines in a matter of few seconds. The pair is both intrigued and perplexed as to how this is possible. The folks inside appear unconcerned by the presence of huge giants. Rob buries the enormous little body under their design layout later. Gail mocks him and reopens the freezer, only to discover that the medieval period has given away to the scientific revolution. As they were gone for a short time, in the freezer, years have passed. They saw humans erecting large structures and residences in a matter of few seconds. Rob laments the fact that he skipped the reformation and wonders if the people inside the refrigerator believe themselves to be deities. Soon afterwards, two building workers inside the freezer grumbled about the two morons who observed them every day, complaining that they were bored of staring at Gail's teeth because of the broccoli. In a jiffy, the economic period gives way to the contemporary age with the construction of huge buildings. As the coast progresses to the current, the pair stares with curiosity as little things pass over the houses, which Rob is perplexed about. Gail proposes that they could be planes, and the duo observes with amazement as the era shifts to the moment. Rob chuckles as he stares at a Starbucks edifice, attempting to make sense of the little universe. As he draws nearer to get a decent view, a big brilliant rocket slams into the little settlement. As Gail tries to assist him, a frightened Rob slips back on the kitchen counter. The inhabitants of the refrigerator are at odds and everything appears to be in ruins. The pair is shown humankind's terrible future, yet they appear unconcerned. Gail shuts the fridge door, stating that people can't grow out of a war in a few minutes and should return later. They're to order a pizza and eat it, entirely oblivious to the nuclear battle raging inside their refrigerator. After about an hour, Rob recommends that they go inside to see what's really going on. The pair seemed to be apprehensive about opening the fridge. They were afraid that they would see the annihilation of mankind. When they eventually open it, they are greeted with a nice surprise. The battle has come to an end and humanity has recovered. They even see flying automobiles and make comparisons to the Emerald City in the little stunning location. People have progressed further than it's ever been. In the start, the future world included numerous buildings interlinked by bridges. Then, all of a sudden, a single pyramid-like building appears. They believe that everyone now dwells in the pyramid. Nevertheless, when the pyramid expands, a diamond-shaped structure within the pyramid swallows the whole city and a sphere of energy develops in the center. It ultimately bursts, sending electric charges shooting into the kitchen of the Cutbull. They watch as the sparks dance around the room like fireflies, enthralling them. They think that humanity have decoded the universe's secrets and are now moving through space in ways that go beyond their wildest dreams. The laser flashes then merge to form a spherical, which is then transformed to the refrigerator, which the couple believes is their actual home. The sphere finally vanishes, apparently signaling the end of the planet. The pair stares at the empty freezer, perplexed. Rob worries if they return, but Gale dismisses the possibility. Rob ultimately unplugs the refrigerator and 
The pair embraces after witnessing humanity's history, present and future in only a few hours. It's now the morning of the next day. To get up and carry on with their daily routine, however, the events of the previous night are still fresh in their memories. They ascertain to verify if all is truly over by opening the refrigerator one final time. The dinosaur period has returned, much to their astonishment. Several small apes consume the meat of a recently deceased dinosaur. As yet another dinosaur pursues them, they flee. The pair proceeds to observe the small animals in their natural habitat as the show closes. This tale of love, death, and robots is notable for the intriguing notion of depicting the entire origin, evolution, and demise of mankind in minute scales. A magical chiller puts the idea of time and dimension to the test. Because the freezer's origins are never addressed in the brief film, it's only fair to label it a natural phenomena. Some program viewers assumed the refrigerator belonged to the previous owners, who were bored of seeing mankind's doom play out over and over again, so they left it in the house before departing. The planet within the freezer has recovered from the most catastrophic conflict humanity has ever witnessed, giving us hope for the future. By watching Robin Gale, on the other hand, you may order pizza and enjoy it. While the small world was at war, we witnessed people's indifference and a lack of sense of obligation for the global issues. We may see a possible future for mankind in this short video that does not end in extinction. Unlike many other movies, predictable, tragic endings, I said offers us the potential of people understanding the cosmos and being one with it. The pyramid-like tower's energy ball is most likely a device that permits people to escape existence. The ball of energy vanished into thin air after discovering every secret about our existence, signifying that humanity has changed realms and evolved into a greater being. To support the channel, subscribe for more videos like this, set on alerts, and leave a like. Thank you for taking the time to watch.